Hey, welcome back. So, let's find out who this old lady yelling at us through her megaphone is. E. Strickland? You aren't related to, uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Uh-oh. Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, God. Uh, There's yeah, more of them? McFly slackers, aren't ya? Oh, no, she uh, even knows we're man, slackers! I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. Hey, don't you pull me into that. You're the... Uh, you, you... Edna? Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. Yeah. What is it? Let me see. Um... <laughs> show her the tape recorder. Um... I've got this shoe. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Oh. Oh. Uh, hi. Nothing conspicuous going on here. Okay. Sorry, Einstein. Sorry, Einie. Some people just don't like dogs. Unfortunately. Hmm. Well, took you long enough. Uh, um, sorry. There's a lot Ms. of stairs. Strickland. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much mm. better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose mm. you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. Uh, no, not I, all really. I've got is tea and candy. But I'm mm. sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. Ah. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh, hmm. I don't know if, I don't know if I want uh, to. Have a seat, Sonny. Uh, sure. Hey, you kids! Put out those cigarettes! Ah. You just love yelling at everyone. Radiator candy. Oh, candy. Oh, that candy looks older than I am. Uh, cat balls? Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Miss Pretty Whiskers is very particular about Miss... who handles her food. Miss Pretty Whiskers. Hmm. Oh, pictures. <laughs> is that... Vice Principal Strickland? Is it? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Ah! Marshall Strickland. My grandfather, gunned down by Mad Dog Tannen oh, over a yeah. hundred years ago. I That's remember. not how I remember it. Yeah, it's not. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that? Nothing. Hmm. Uh, yeah. What? That's, that's where there was something. Oh, uh, what else we got that we can look at? <gasps> oh, you don't have television. Newspapers! Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and oh. meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Uh, I don't wanna... Sorry. What about, uh... Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? Uh, you forgot to turn on you! the... You! It's spelled with a U, you illiterate vandal! Oh my god. <laughs> um, no, I don't think we want to leave. I, I think we've got information we need to get out of Miss Strickland. Uh, Miss Strickland? You're doing behind that tree. Oh, Lord. 
Yes. Uh. What's with all the What's newspapers? With all these newspapers. This yeah. is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Ooh, get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Why do you need all these newspapers? Why do you need all these newspapers? Isn't that the library's job? Libraries? <laughs> Have you seen the smut they keep in their magazine racks? Uh, oh, well. well. That's a nice pair of binoculars you have. some stargazing? No, oh, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Huh? Chip Channing! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Uh-oh. Um, so when did you lose that shoe? Let's, let's find that out. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Mm-hmm. Shoe? That shoe over there. Yeah. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, mm. I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. Yeah. The day that speakeasy burned down. The day the speakeasy, the speakeasy burned down. In Hill Valley? Huh. Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Hey. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Oh. An illegal speakeasy. Cool. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, <laughs> young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town. Oh, not Honest gangsters. Honest citizens quaked in their beds. Hmm. Where was so where it? was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, no. No, of I, I'm not. just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny. Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Mm. Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down oh. there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. Oh, videotape. The video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Hmm. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. Oh. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Ah. Okay. Don't let me keep you from your business. Yeah, sorry. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Oh. Jesus, Edna. So. Tea kettle's not on. There's a radiator. If I could get her. To think that the kettle's Man, going off. She keeps it hot in here. Yeah. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. Okay. Now, newspapers. All right. Speakeasy, speakeasy. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Hmm. Speakeasy, speakeasy. Come on. 
Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No. Nope. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. No. Nope. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy yeah. burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? Yeah. I at least need to know the year. Hmm. Yeah. Need to know the year. How do we know Firm the year? Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. Hmm. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Yeah, really. The polite guest stays out of the host's kitchen, Mr. McFly. Sorry, Edna. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Hmm. So, uh... Edna. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. Wait, I have an idea. Don't let me keep you from your business. Uh-huh. I know exactly what I want to do. We talked about the video store. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Ah! You better get in there, Miss Strickland. Oh, 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 come on. Gotta go fast, Marty. Gotta go fast, Marty. Get those binoculars. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Yeah, Valley Video. What the hell's Biff doing? Probably... Debauchery. Rebuilt in February 1932. February. Fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Uh. Okay. So we at least got it down. She said about a year. Miss Strickland. No. Don't let me keep you from your business. Don't have any new questions I can ask her. Let's see if we can get rid let's see if we can go through the newspaper. Since we whittle it down to before 1932. It's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Oh, uh, let's hope. One can only hope, Edna. Alright. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup, Soup kitchen, kitchen exposed. exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Ah. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance mm. last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. Uh-oh. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. It's that, Doc. That's Doc. Killed by a mob. Yep. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. 1931? Uh-oh. My newspapers! Uh -oh. Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let no! me... No! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Well, hopefully it'll keep you no! occupied. Get out! Get out! Get out! Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, Edna. Ugh. Alright. Well, yep, let's load up Mr. Fusion. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh. uh didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Well, we're doing. Grapes of Wrath? Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? Yeah. I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Yeah, Wish right. my dad had understood that. Well... You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. Yeah. Got a time machine. Ready to well, go, won't even be gone five minutes.
to you. All right. Time circuits. Time circuits ah. on. Flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. Yeah, fluxy. Okay. If Doc's gonna get killed on June, June 14th, 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and, and get him out. Yeah. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. June 13th, 1931. Here we go. Better hope there's roads when we're going. Haha, <laughs> get it? Roads when we're going. All right, here we go. Time to punch it! Einstein, prepare yourself for temporal displacement. Woo! Oh no! Oh lord, we would show up right in the middle of something like this. Man. Ah. Don't shoot the car. Okay. Good thing that happened. Man. Hmm. The car of the future. Hill Valley Exposition. Yeah, that'll be a good spot to hide the car. Hill Valley, two miles. Well, let's go. Hopefully it won't take too long to get to town. All right, here we are. Thank goodness it's daylight so we can see. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Einstein, Einie. Hmm. Well. Uh, oh, this is Hill Valley in the 30s. Gazebo's huh. there. Soup kitchen. Oh, sorry, brother. Don't mind me. Just, uh... 1986 kid in a 1931 world. Hmm. Young man? Excuse me, young man? Yes. Who? Uh, me? You're the only man me? in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. Uh, I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... Uh... You can mark me down as a supporter. Sure, yeah. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Uh, Do you have a sure. message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens. You need, with you need to back off, lady. Like you're, you're too forward. Yeah, tell him. Go ahead, make my day. Make your day what? Never mind. Mm. I'll play around with it and see if I can come up with something better. Mr. Mr. May I get your name? Um, yeah, it's... It's, uh... Or Harry Kelly Callahan. Sonny Crockett. Let's go with Sonny Crockett. I like that Sonny name. Crockett. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Crockett. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. 
Oh, God, it's Edna. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Ah. Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Einstein's Doc, not aggressive. I gotta find Doc. Einstein's not aggressive. Ooh, soup kitchen. Can we have some soup? Can we go in the barbershop? Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this Ooh. look like? A hunting lodge? Okay. Uh, apparently they don't... No. Not hiring. Okay. Hmm. Speakeasy room. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? I don't know. I don't think he did. I think he was... May have been blamed. Let's go to the law offices. Hello? No solicitors! Uh, okay. Rude. Hmm. Today's special? Yesterday's soup! Ooh! Sounds good. Soup kitchen under new management. Well, I hope that they do a good job at running it. There's always room in the world for good soup. Hmm. Doc. Doc. <gasps> Marty. Marty. Doc. Oh. What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? Oh, oh, the automatic retrieval system, of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. Mm hmm. So, what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. But the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Hmm. Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see um, you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got you, some you hold off on that, Doc. information. Right, Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse. Yeah. Why would they do that? Yes, they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? Yeah, we plan. really should. Right. But what? I don't know. You're the genius. Why don't we tell the authorities? Yeah. Uh, what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. Yeah. And trust me, you don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. I'm pretty sure we don't. Uh, Why don't what I about take that? the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Oh, Jeez, great. we've been back together for five minutes, Doc. You're already talking about the end of the universe. Yeah. I've missed that. Don't be Paradoxes ridiculous, and everything. Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Oh, well. Hmm. What about Why don't making we try a stand? To tough it out? Now that we know what's coming, maybe we sneak it past the gangsters with a bulletproof vest or something. That might work with one or two bullets, but from the looks of this article, it appears that I'm going to be mowed down in a hail of Tommy gunfire that rendered the innocent stranger little more than a puffy mass of bones and gristle. Hmm. Who writes like that? According to the byline, one Edna Strickland. Uh, I should have guessed. Yeah, should have. Hey, maybe what I could talk about, to the gangsters. Yeah. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided, do you? Mm. I guess I could break you out. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. Yeah. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. Mm. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? What? My rocket-powered drill. Your rocket powered you drill. Rocket powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17 year old self sent in a patent application for a rocket powered drill. 
I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent hmm. office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Ooh. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. Nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. Oh. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me. 1931 me. Wait a minute, Doc. Oh, you want no. me to convince your 1931 We have to find 1931, to Doc. Power drill to break you out of jail? Precisely. We get to meet 17-year-old Doc as 17-year-old Marty. What about the space-time continuum? Yeah, let's ask talking to yourself caused, you know, irreparable damage to the space-time continuum or something? It should be fine. I've already invented the idea of the rocket drill. You've just got to go my younger self into finishing the prototype. Hmm. How am I supposed to get you to build a rocket drill? Yeah. How am I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the flux capacitor for another 24 years. Then what no. am I supposed to... Just be your charming self. Yeah, 20... What I remember, yeah, I'm a pretty yeah, easy going right. kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Mm. Yeah. Where can I find okay, you? Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I yeah. mean, uh, the other you. Yeah. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why don't you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Okay. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. Mm. It'll cause Ugh, irreparable damage to your digestive system. Thanks. For the information, Doc. About the soup. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. Yeah, I'm we'll get you out of here. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. Well, we'll get started and call the Brown residents to find young 17-year-old Emmett next time. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've been seeing, hit the like button down below. Make sure you leave a comment on the video as well as subscribe to the video with notifications on so you know when new videos go up. That'll be it for today. I'll see you all next time.